All right, guys, welcome back to the original 1914 subscriber game of Maximum Craziness. <laughs> well, I don't know where I came up with that. Anyway, um, we've talked about in our coalition that we have suffered from the week at sea. Um, that's basically just a week behind. We put ourselves a week behind. Now, once we're a week behind, that doesn't that gap doesn't grow any larger, of course, because we keep on streaming guys in. But it certainly does put us a little bit behind. So if we go to the coalition coalition list here, we do see that there are two European uh, coalitions that are ahead of us significantly. We're at 184 reward points. They're at 307 and almost 300. However, um, what I do want to point out is, again, I do like to go over to the coalition list and look at provinces. And if we look at provi provinces ranked, um, you'll see we're not quite as far behind. Now, the reason for that, of course, is that most of what we have is newly conquered, whereas a lot of what they have has been developed fully. So they're going to have railroads and level four factories on a lot of their stuff in there. And we've talked about how dense Europe is. Now, what's scary about the order is, of course, there's just three of them. And what we saw in previous games, if you go to another 500, what you'll see is there was a, a group of three dominating in Europe. And then right towards the end game, is when they started reaching out and grabbing other big players um, who were still on the free market, you know, freelance uh, countries. So there's the potential for some real danger there. Now, I will say this. Um, we are eating territory quickly. Um, we're doing a good job of it. Uh-oh. Um, this is new. Okay. Uh, you can stay where you're at now. Um, I, I was not at war with this country, and now I am. I don't know if um, it might have been me that did it accidentally, going over to the newspaper to see if I declared war on anybody, uh, because it happened like literally seconds ago. Uh, troops opened fire. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I opened fire. I did not mean to do that at all. Um, what happened was my tanks were already here, and because uh, I guess they'd attacked in, and then somehow... It went over to uh, whoever this is, Bombay, I think. Yeah, uh, the everything went over to them. This is not good news for me. This is actually really bad news for me. Accidental warfare, and it's not a player character. It's an AI you can see over here. So what I'm going to have to try to do is uh, stack my borders. Um, I've got plenty of steel in this game, so I can go ahead and get forts going. Um, I wasn't really anticipating having to do this, so didn't want to waste game time or video time doing this. Um, but I've got some vulnerable stuff here. Very vulnerable. Look at that. Ooh, okay. I got to wait for that to develop. So now, geez, this is not good. Um, I've got to stack this stuff along the border and hope for the best. Um, go ahead and send out 41 of them, 43. 44, yeah, we'll do 44. Man, I'm telling you, not good. And then send all the tanks, <laughs> all the tank. <laughs> and then uh, let this guy settle. He can settle in the middle. He's actually doing all right, right where he is. Right now, he's covering two different entry roads. In fact, he might be better right about. No, that's pretty good, actually. He's covering three entry roads there. So I like him here. Okay. And then um, move these guys on down. Um, I'll move 30 to my main stack here that I'm concerned about because it has my double fish, which is very important to me. Wow, this sucks. I really do hate just all of a sudden being at war for no reason. And this game does a little bit of that wonkiness. So, like, you know, I come back and I'm wondering, like, just first of all, like, why? Why do I have my, my entire st uh, tank stack? <laughs> I always want to say stank tack. Um, here sitting on neutral. It was beige at the time, neutral territory. Like, what's up with that? So, really, I just tried to send that tank stack up here to join the fray and then come back and I'm at war. So... I don't know what's up with that. It's not cool. I did not want to be at war with this large nation here. But there you go. 
um, especially since I've been sending most of my resources up to finish up this war, which is going down. That's you can see I'm about to take three territories. I'm loving it. Um, <clears throat> should be able to clear this out. And then I've been sending most of my material up to here. I do have bombers on the way, which I'm super stoked about. Um, that's going to be a bit of a game changer as we attack up north into this AI. And then finally, one other really cool thing. Um, Esperance came up with a neat idea. And you can see Esperance has been attacking up with me through here. He said, what if we start to trade uh, territories, um, my Asian territories, which, which he has up here, and they're all pretty much connected to me, for your Australian territories. So you can see down here, um, we are also next to each other. So I thought it was a brilliant idea. Conceivably, what could happen is he could have a united territory here once I give him all of my stuff. And then I could have a united territory up here, right, once he gives me all of this stuff. And then I could move my entire capital up to mainland Asia and be much more effective up here. And then he talked about the idea that then um, if he's sort of the, the custodian of Oz back here, then he can actually focus on taking care of Geraldton because that is a looming problem here. A lot of territories here. Um, he could start by clearing out the uh, mainland Oz territories and then start to look into this stuff up here. Um, but I think it's a great idea, this idea of starting to try to kind of um, trade territories so that one of us can be mainland Asia oriented and one of us can be back here. And, you know, as we conquer forward, I think the other players could continue, could do the same thing with them so that eventually, um, you know, conceivably Esperance could be all of mainland Oz and be a superpower in his own right as we have conquered up all the way into Siberia and all the way into central uh, Russia and so forth. Um, so it's really kind of a neat, seems like a neat thing uh, all around. So I'll keep you all posted on how that goes as well. Java, of course, is just continuing to pour troops in and really, really um, damaging General Peanut Butter and Jelly over here. It's not looking good. Um, I wish, like I was about to send up 60 infantry in a tank to go help with that battle when all of a sudden the mechanics of this game forced me to go to war with an AI over here. So that is very unfortunate. I am not prepared. <laughs> in fact, what I, what I really probably need to do is, yeah, let me grab a sizable amount of troops here and just start to send them on that way. 122 and four cannon. Yeah, that, that could be useful over there. So um, the only thing I have going for me at this point, I think, is that I'm pretty sure that Darwin is also at war. If not, he's getting ready to go. Okay, it looks like Otago is at war with him. So that's, okay, that makes me feel better that this guy I randomly attacked is already at war. Okay, yeah, already at war with Otago and then a couple other countries that are not in our coalition. But uh, that's, that's good. I'm glad Otago is putting some pressure down in the south there. Um, that means his attention will be divided because I don't have a lot of stuff here right now. Um, that stuff that I just now grabbed will eventually get here, uh, but not for a long, long time. See the stuff I clicked over here, it's taken the railroad all the way around, uh, boom, 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 all the way to here, straight across and then down. Um, those railways are just fast, you know, and sea travel is slow. All right, guys. Well, thanks for checking in. Um, there's not a whole lot more to say. A lot is going on. Oh, I did reach out to the African coalition and ask them. Um, they're over here. Um, you can see, here we go. Reach out to them. They look like they've got some power. They also look like, look like they're about to go up against these. There's two, two European coalitions that appear to be cooperating, which is not good news for us. Um, but if we can get together with Africa, and if Africa can call, hold their own until we dominate into the Middle East here, um, then, then we can start to do a pincer move on them and start to really uh, put some pressure on those dominant European nations. Also, I got to say, if we continue coordinating and, and staying aggressive as we have been, um, we're going to catch up to those uh, reward point totals, right? Because now we're on mainland Asia and we don't have that delay anymore. We, I feel like we lost seven days while our men were at sea, right? But then because we continue to stream them in, as soon as our first men hit the ground, then they're they're arriving in Asia at the same rate as they're spawning back here. Right. So as soon as we lost that seven days, which is gone forever now, but from now on, um, they're arriving in 
as though they were spawning in Europe or, or in Asia rather. So I know that doesn't make perfect sense, but um, the point being that like, you know, we lost seven days, but that's it. Now it's over. Um, now as well, we've got a lot of territories that are growing stuff. You can see I've got a fledgling air force on its way and it's all native Asian uh, material here. It's all being built in Asia. So more of that's going to continue as we go. We're going to have more production, more power on the mainland, which will in turn lead to more conquering faster. So I'm feeling good about this game. Um, it's been a challenge, you know, of course, because of that long ocean voyage. Um, but I, I do feel like that's been paid down. That's been paid for already. And again, now we're just streaming stuff in. As long as you just constantly grab and send, grab and send, grab and send, then um, everything keeps on streaming in in this beautiful blue and white river and arrives on the mainland continuously, right? So that that pipeline is full and just that continuous, continuously dropping guys off on the mainland. So I love it. A little concerned about accidentally going to war with this AI over here, but we'll see what happens. Um, thanks for checking in, guys. I'll see you all next time. Adios, amigos.